Who's Independence? I don't know of mm, hardly any Native Americans that really care about Independence Day. Me personally, it's just always been really fun to 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 see all of the fireworks light up the sky. It's a joy. I have children. They love it. I love it. I love to see a smile on their face. Nevertheless, you know, it's like you're you're celebrating a false idea. It's like worshiping a false deity. It is completely pointless to the point where you know, now it almost kind of even feels foolish. It almost feels foolish. Maybe we should consider doing our celebrating or shooting off fireworks until July 9th and, and call it 14th Amendment ratify ratification day i don't know it's just something i'm making up or maybe we should just shoot them off every day whenever we just get a bunch of them and shoot them off that tends to be what happens in a lot of urban communities anyway once it gets close you know starting around this time all the way until the end of august you'll hear and see fireworks and again, it's a joy, but the 4th of July Independence Day, that's a facade. That's a facade. That's not real. That's not real. At least, at least not for minorities. White America, I guess you broke away from England in a, in a, in a sense. You all of those old ways and old traditions and theories, they still hold, you know? So I, I don't know what the independence really is. All right, so why is it that murder is so acceptable by police regardless of the officer's life not being jeopardized. I was, it was, it was my understanding that, hey, you know, if you pull a gun, you know, if you put the police, the police officer's life in jeopardy, then they have every right to take your life. And I can understand that, especially for our officers that are out here honoring their badge and their oath and their serving and protecting. I have family. My brother-in-law is a police officer in the city of Chicago. I have a cousin, a first cousin, that is a police officer in a suburb of Chicago. I have a friend that I grew up watching him as a young man and he was a police officer in Chicago I have loved ones that are police officers I love them dearly and they all take their job very seriously they are superheroes I don't personally I don't I don't I don't deem the police to be superheroes just because of the relationship that we have with the police and the things that we see on the everyday and regular basis and those three incidents that we're, we've we've gone over fire firefighters are are definitely superheroes you know EMT workers superheroes teachers that are able to do their job and and they're teaching our youth superheroes police should be superheroes but if you're killing unarmed 
children, women, and men, primarily and especially the ones that look nothing like you, you're not a superhero. You're a villain that defines a villain. You're a villain. You're a killer. And that was, that was, this incident was, that was, he was a coward. You have to be a coward to kill someone that's handcuffed and laying face down. I don't know what else to call it besides a, a cowardly villain. So moving forward. What are what are what are going to be what are going to be solutions? How can we cope? Who can be trusted? How do we build trust? Should we build trust? I haven't heard the president of the United States say or show any sympathy or love towards the victim. I haven't heard or seen him speak against the officer that murdered that that victim. I have nevertheless heard about a tweet that the president of the United States sent out something along the lines of when the looting starts the shooting starts that's like telling us that hey we're going to send our police and our and our military and you guys are are out here rioting and doing all of that and destroying property and buildings which can be replaced take some time take some money but it can be replaced can be even made better but you're gonna take lives lives that can never be given back that's how I took it for all I know he could have meant bean bags squirt gun paintball I don't know he didn't speak on that he said that's when the shooting starts. That is a sad, sad, sad situation. We cannot trust the so-called leader of America. We cannot trust our politicians and our government. We cannot trust the police who are supposed to be here to serve and protect when you look at all of this, it almost all looks like some some form of a setup. You know, if I was a conspiracy theory person, you know what I would say? I would say, you know what? I think that all of this goes hand in hand and we're in the middle of a pandemic. COVID-19 dead in the middle of it we know it's going to get worse so does the government maybe they want it to get worse maybe this cop was paid or taken care of by some higher ups that wanted this incident to happen so that the black community could react and exactly the way that they reacted. Now you have hundreds to possibly thousands of people outside rioting and not practicing s s social distancing that are possibly going to get sick. Especially in some of these places like New York, Chicago, LA. Who knows? What? How do I know? what's really in those canisters that they're throwing at these people could be something to enhance the COVID 
we'll we'll see how these numbers go with this this um second wave of covid you know if i was a con conspiracy therapist theorist theorist i don't know what the word is <laughs> so just just some thoughts of mine again this is the winter circle podcast episode three it's unfortunate that it has to be so gloomy you know um i would much rather deal with some fun topics deal with solutions i don't i don't have a a, a real solution for i don't have a worldly solution for this if if you asked me personally what the solution for this is it's gonna be read your bible on your own and follow those instructions follow those instructions all of them eat according to the directions given by your creator act according to the directions given by your creator and celebrate according to the days given by your creator love love is an action it's not a word it's not a word a very hateful person can say i love you and turn right around and kill you <clears throat> and if it's for no real reasoning you weren't attacking them or they weren't defending themselves how was that love it's just words but love itself is an action to love is to act in a certain manner so love according to the definition and information given by your creator it's the only solution i can think of you know the theories of man we've been dealing with this forever we dealt with this with Malcolm X. We dealt with it with Martin Luther King. American history is based off the white minorities instilling fear into everyone else. They instill that fear with torture, which this incident also, by the way, this was, this falls under the category of torture. This is torture all the way. Again, you handcuff the man. You you have him face down. You got other police officers holding him. While you're killing him. How is that not torture? How is this not a hate crime? First degree murder. Hate crime. Torture. All of those charges should be brought up. All of them. So... You know, who can we trust? I mean, here it is. You have four or five officers total, and they all were in line and in one accord. I would love to see all of black America on one accord. That would be a sight to see. You know, there's so many sectors and gangs and things of that nature what if what if they all just decided you know what i love you my brother my sister you are my family and i'm not gonna watch someone wrong you and they all stood together we all stood together that would be a sight to see but seems like a dream doesn't it Seems like a dream. So let's let's not forget about 25 year old Ahmad Aubrey, who was gunned down in Georgia by father and son combo Gregory and Travis McMichael, February 23rd this year. Let's not forget about that. 
no 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 real convictions yet with that they 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 had a hard time even finding a judge that would take the case basically how sad how sad is that this young man is is jogging he walked into a a building that was under construction they tried to use that as some type of reasoning just to find out that according to surveillance of that building several people had walked in and checked it out it's a building under construction it's wide open if you can go in and look i mean people are nosy we see that all the time especially by the masses so nosy so nosy how is it that now it's a crime that this young black man has has taken on one of your characteristics to the point where the 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 man that recorded all of this followed him in that recording while he was following him I, i'm pretty sure i can hear him loading and cocking a gun and then he pulls up and sees this this father and son shoot this man which jogging i mean your eyes are wide open you know i saw him go on around the car you know i'd have probably tried to turn around or just go a whole nother direction or something because if i see all these white folk on this one road and they have guns i'm not jogging by that by that vehicle i'm not taking that chance so <clears throat> excuse me so you know I, it, it feels like we're under attack when i say we i mean black men specifically black america latino american minorities in america are under attack for what reason i do not know because the attackers are not the natives of this land how interesting is that again the attackers are not the natives of this land i'm always hearing well if you don't like it go back to africa <laughs> i've never been to africa i've never been to africa you know i i happen to actually be the seed of Abraham, the seed of Shem, not the seed of Ham. Nevertheless, it's always white Americas, white Americans saying that, that their lineage comes from Europe. And well, they tend to know exactly what country, Italy, Greece, France, what have you why don't you go back to your homeland it, it, I, I just i don't see how people can even say that so i don't know what's going on in america we've been dealing with this all of our history all of american history this is what it is jim crow okc massacre Every single time black Americans or even Latino Americans, I'm going to stick with black Americans because I, I, I know this history a little bit better. Every single time we get our, our act together, the masses purposely destroy it. OKC massacre. There was once upon a time something called the Harlem Renaissance. And, you know, black Americans were kind of at our glory at these times drugs are planted into our communities redlining is designed to ensure that our communities are not well taken care of are not well educated there's no um financial real financial support but there's definitely going to be a planned parenthood that's for sure you'll make sure of that 
won't you? We all need to start looking for and coming up with ways to strengthen our families, strengthen ourselves, and learn how to work without having to depend on the masses. Again, I have a multitude. I went to, I, I went to school in Des Moines, Iowa. I have a multitude of white American individuals that I love and that I know love me. I know it. You know, I have a few that I know for sure if something were to happen to me and I had to send my child to them. I know they would treat her like she's their own. Are you tired of being tired? I am. Have you noticed all the side effects of medicine? I have. Are you aware that natural herbs and plants are our body's natural healers? Are they? Yes, they are. And natural max health products can help you start your journey to total body wellness from head to toe. Eat with intent. I mean, your body is by far your most important machine. Take care of it and it will take care of you. Natural Max Health products provide what you need for detox and body cleansing, nutrition and energy, pain relief, skin and beauty, and nutrition for tiny humans, our babies. Take control of your mind, body, and spirit. Visit naturalmaxhealth.com and rejuvenate your soul. Natural Max Health, total body wellness from head to toe.